Okay, Sunday morning in the kingdom and I'm hurting. Okay, last night it took four hours to load up a 44 minute video onto YouTube. Like the YouTube thing was really slow because I imagine Saturday night everybody loads up their videos from their fun days, you know. So I sat there with two computers tied up. One for editing and one for loading up. So I couldn't really do much. I ate supper, I, I mean I cooked supper, I burned supper, I fed the dogs and then I had to get into the uh, uh, muscle relaxant called booze, okay? So that took four hours of my life, okay? So I'm hurting today, all right? But seeing how it's Sunday, make sure you guys clean your vacuum, okay? All right, but also too, I'm forgetting a major important safety tip. Okay, especially if you have dogs and you put the blankets in the dryer all the time with bounce sheets and stuff to make them smell a lot better. Your dryer lint catcher thing, okay? All right. That thing never gets serviced for some reason, okay? So you got to take it out, clean it and everything, or you could have a fire, eh? Maybe that's why the dryers don't last like they used to, okay? Because I remember dryers used to last a long time. Even if you put your siblings in there and bounce them around a couple of times, eh? Those were fun times. Now I can't fit in the dryer. All right, let's check the temperatures here. Okay. It feels like... Oh, no. Let's get this straight. 12, minus 12 Celsius, but feels like minus 14. And on the F scale, that's 10 Fahrenheit, but feels like my 7. Okay. Unreal, eh? Okay, let's see what we got over here. All right, the camera's telling me it's low battery, but it was being charged. I don't understand this. Maybe it's too cold. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if this is working. All right, I'll have to stop it and regroup. Oh look, I didn't stop it. I just pulled the thing forward and hit the button for low low uh, battery content. I don't understand these things, you know. It's not that cold out here, so why is it acting up, okay? But also too, it's the staff's birthday today. So 25 years ago today, she was born in the hospital here. She's one of the last kids to be born, eh? Okay, I'm having troubles here. All right, so I bought her this nice skull thing here, okay? All right, it's got vodka inside it, so I might have to empty the vodka out. You know, I don't want to be giving the staff booze and stuff, you know, that's not good. But I couldn't believe it, it was here at the store and I bought it, all right? Okay, but also too, it comes with one of these, okay? This is like uh, Nicolas Cage in that movie uh, Drive Angry. That's the 2011 film with Johnny Depp's little woman when she was potty trained. And Nicolas Cage is drinking from the skulls of his enemies, okay? That was good times back then when you could do that. Now they kind of frown on anything, human bones or anything like that, okay? All right. So today we're planning a big day in the yard. Yeah, right. We're not going to do much. Okay. So we have all the IH cats over here. But we got two more plugged in. Oh, that's two. Okay. All right. So we have two more plugged in, so we're going to get them up and going and do a photo shoot over here so everybody can see all the winter freighting cats and the IH cats, okay? So it gets a little confusing, plus we have snow coming, so now it's the perfect time to document these cats because, because there's no snow on them. Because if I wait another day, they could be covered in snow, and then I'd have to sweep it all off and everything. That's more work for me at my age. Okay, so it's Sunday, we're cleaning, uh, we're fluffing the dog blankets, we're airing them out, we're doing all that stuff. Today's a Sunday, and today's video won't be too long, so it should load up for everybody to have a little nap after supper uh, watching it and stuff. But we tried to make them longer, and all of a sudden the staff went into being a director. She thought she was Steven Spielberg yesterday doing the movie Duel. She made me do things a couple of times over, and I'm looking at her like, oh my which is good. Hopefully the product on, on the, which everybody watches is a lot better. I don't know if this camera is going to die or what. I'm trying to see what the ba battery is saying, but this is BS. Like nothing lasts anymore. Not even the ba batteries in the bedroom. Unreal. Well, I better go before it censors me. Okay, Sunday after lunch in the kingdom and the staff is enjoying her birthday. So here we'll do a little video documentary of all the cats in the, I, I mean the IH cats in the kingdom. 
and the flag exercises in its natural state of being limp. Okay, I got my list here. I'll put it in front of the camera so everybody can see it. All right, now I'll pull it away because my glasses aren't that good. Okay, there's four TD6s, two running, two not. Okay, plus we have parts cats that we don't count. Okay, they're just the hulks or whatever hidden in the bushes or the sheds in the, in the kingdom here. All right, we have seven TD9s, four running, three not. And we have two TD18s and two are running. All right, let's go see the most important cat of them all. Okay, the TD6 known as Laverne was a dozer cat, had a canopy, a blade, and everything like that. I bought him in the south with a blown motor. So he came north and the motor was blown. So we put a, a farm gas motor, I guess you call it. Yeah, it came from a, the farm wreckers in the States there. I bought two of them at the same time, two gas motors. And they say they just fit nicely into the uh, uh, cat. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> okay, it just doesn't fit. Okay, I had to change my hands here. So this cat here will look good on the sleigh as we're filming and documenting the cat trains of the north. And this is what the 40s and 50s were all about. But the best part is with those LED lights, compliments of Sir Rodney and Westrands, will shine over the $42,000 promo bike. Everybody's asking questions on it, but there is really nothing to discuss. The builder destroyed the bike. Like I mean destroyed it. It's just absolutely crap. He said it was going to be the awesome build, but it was awesome piece of junk and the great thing is you know look at the bondo look at the crap like i'm not going to discuss it i have a forty-two thousand dollar coffee table sir rodney is building a professional bike and he'll do a better job using his carpentry tools than this guy did building this promo bike and it's a shame like we couldn't even take it to a blind man's bike rally because it was such a terrible build but enough of that let's get back to laverne okay so Laverne's lights will shine over the $42,000 coffee table to light up the barrels when filming because the barrels were on the sleighs at 44 barrels, uh, 44 drums of fuel. And at the prices today in Whoville here, that's nine, just, uh, just under 20,000 Canadian to fill one sleigh. But that's how they got the fuel to the remote communities in the north here. And the cat trains did it all. So Laverne sitting up here, he's a complete running cat. The gas motor runs, he looks good, sounds great. There's one video on YouTube of him pulling the tire drag in the deep snow and then the final drive malfunction on the back here, which I eat cats are known for. Their ball bearings fall out, get between the bull gears and then crunch and things fall apart. So that's a minor detail. We will get him fixed up and he will not be a king of obsolete cat. He'll be a a true winter freighting cat that the old timers used back in the day so he won't have the windshield the cat's tail and a few other things or anything highly modified but he's going to look good in the filming okay in the container that used to be the geo shack until i never got paid so i got mad at these guys because i invested twenty five thousand bucks in these containers building them as sheds for playing with rocks so in 2020 with the covid lockdowns we stripped it out because there was brand new windows, all this nice plywood and everything, and we moved it over to the staff's house. So that's where all the materials came for her house. But this is the curse of reverse. I bought him, I think, in 2004. He was supposed to have the teeth off the reverse gear removed, which is normal, and we fixed that, and he's done nothing. He's been broken more than he's been used or anything. So in 2019, we put the gas motor in along with Laverne. So here he sits in here waiting for the gas motor installation to be finished and he's a true winter freighting cat he has the holes in the pads and everything like that as the windshield and also too he has a angle blade with the tilt which is very rare up here in the north because they never made the blades tilt you just angled them and plowed the snow while angling the blade they tilt differently so one side's up in the air one side's cutting on the ground so it's not proper so we kind of keep him around because someday he'll be up and running and working and earning his keep at the end of the world. Okay, the next TD6 is the Communist Cat. He came to the kingdom, I think, in 2003. We dragged him 90 miles from Saskatchewan. Don't ask me how to spell Saskatchewan. Okay, but he was junk, absolutely junk. And he was payment for a job we did. So I, and basically I got screwed because he's junk. The motor was seized. The final drive on this side was piled up. It was just unreal. 
So a lot of work and effort went into it, but we got the Lynn Tractor V plow on it from 1929. And he has done a lot of work in the kingdom, opening up roads and trails and everything for drill programs. So this is a good little cat. We have enjoyed him and he'll keep on going. This little TD6 is known as Aggie because he's a farm cat from the south and it has this uh, blade made in Lorette, Manitoba by a welding shop. They were very popular. I actually have three of them in the yard here, but we don't use them for certain things. Each cat has a certain job, but this blade does angle, but it doesn't tilt. Okay, so then it's cutting differently. But also too, all the blades in the kingdom from V plows to angle blades all have shoes under them on the bottom so they're not cutting in. We plow snow, not dirt. So Aggie's been a good little cat and he came with a blown final drive and other issues, rear main seal leaking out and everything. So he has a long history in the kingdom. I worked on him in 2002, 2000 I think it was. I donated a bunch of time to the owners at the time and in the end got screwed, okay? Okay, now on to the TD9s, but this one here is a T9, known as the famous black cat because he has the gas motor in it, okay? He's a long track because he was a crane, like the red crane cat back here, which we'll do a video on here right away. But he, this here, the famous black cat, has been sunk 18 times. The last time we sunk it south of town on an airplane recovery that crashed is the minor detail. But it has a custom made V plow on the front. I made this thing, it has shoes on the bottom to play with low amounts or low volumes of snow. And then we have these tear away wing tips here, right here, because you get into the trees and rocks, they tear away. And then we did some drill roads for the drillers here. And we had an extension here just to push the wind roll back, knowing the ground is not frozen or there's all the rocks we piled in the back. So this here is totally recycled steel, all may, all done with recycled steel. We never bought anything. He's been a very good cat and he's made a lot of money for me and he's done a lot of things for us too. Okay, I got the burps again. Okay, this is a TD9 and it has the diesel engine, okay? But he's known as bad business. He's made as a sleigh puller and then we put the seats on the sides here, copying a military cat from the US Army back in the 40s because they did this to the TD-18 so they could have three people on the cat. So we put the seats on to carry people in the bush for drill roads or drilling results or whatever to get people in and out. So this cat has done, served me well and we call him bad business because he bought through a family member and of course the deal goes bad. So I changed the name to bad business. So he's been a very good cat to us and he can pull his drags and the sleighs. Okay, these are the twins, made to look like 1940s, 50s winter freighting cats just for pulling sleighs. We have Kijiji over here, and then over here is Freefall, okay? So these two cats were made just for filming, or to relive the great days of cat trains and how the cats looked the same, how they had the big headlights on the frontier that shone and had no brightness or whatever, candle power I guess they call them. But these two cats have been in the kingdom since 2009. I've tossed a lot of money at them and they were very good yesterday when we filmed because there was no blue smoke and they were running, running normal and the videos turned out pretty good. But they are winter freighting cats made to look the same as if they came from a dealer back in the 1940s as brand new cats. So now they're looking good. Okay, these two cats here, this is Op over here. Okay, he came from the United States. He's gonna be a sleigh puller cat. This is my red crane cat that I bought when I was married and I think it ended the divorce. I loaded a lot of scrap metal out of, with it and, and I lived in the south and I came north. But being a solid suspension and weighing 10 tons, you don't take it out across the ice. Well, we found that out twice. So the last time I took it swimming, it cracked a cylinder head and well, we haven't got around to fixing it because I've given up buying cracked heads and other motors and stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to learn that lock and stitch. And then over here, we have Zoda. He's gonna become a winter freighting cat, just basic plain Jane, I would say cat. So he's in the lineup to be fixed. Okay, somebody parked the cats a little close here, okay? But this is the TD-18 known as Dooley. He has the shorter tracks on here. Oops, my finger's a little too close. So he has this overhang, okay? That overhang is like the AH farm tractors that came out in the 80s to get more power. So you're getting the weight up over front and then you could pull. These cats here are not twins. They're made to look close the same, but they are the big sleigh pullers back in the day. 
And last but not least, we have Blaine, the TD-18. He still has his wooden track rollers here. Or, I mean, the rollers, I mean. All the winter freighting cats have wooden track rollers. He still has his rollers here. And he is a long track, okay, because he was a side boomer or whatever he was. I forget what it, how it goes. I can look at my notes. But the track is right even with the rad. So he's quite different, and he's made to be a sleigh puller too. Like, we have no use. He came with a blade and everything like that, but... We're not into blades. We only have certain cats that have blades. Okay, now we got to get these cats up and running. Or the two I moved here because i got to do a little project. Okay, we're down at the firewood pile and I jackknifed the black cat. I mean the famous black cat to the bi-directional sleigh better known as ACDC. So I could also weld these little rod things onto the windshield. I cut them off about three years ago to work on the radiator and the motor. And... Uh, I didn't put them back together. Oh well, at least we're getting it done today. Okay, with the bi-directional sleigh with the welder in, it worked out good because I was able to use the welder here to weld on the jacks on the back of the sleigh table here. Okay, so at one time we had lots of two-wheel drive, and I mean two ton, uh, okay, let's start again. Okay, at one time we had lots of half-ton traders, trucks cut down to make traders, so every one of them had a jack stand. So now we have these extra jack stands, so we'll just put them on here. So the plan was to back it in, load the front of this wagon with the firewood from here, okay? But then we'd end up like Shrek and his donkey. The, the wagon would tip up and the donkey would go up in the air. So we decided we'd put it on here. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh wait, that's a Dirk, Dirk Bentley song? Where he's driving that nice 60s style ranchero with that lady in the white tank top. Oh, that was a good song. He, even being a heavy metal dude, I liked it. So the best part was welding the other side here under the tree. So I was out in, in the shade of the tree today, but also too, the hoarfrost, the snow and everything, you jiggle, wiggle, and it lands on the welding helmet down the back of your neck and everything. So it was a very traumatic experience. Well, I better pack up the cables here and go have some coffee. Okay, to get things set up and going for the staff to follow suit when I'm not around is we're sorted out, started sorting out part of the wood pile here. So using the barrel rack on top of the sleigh table, that means that the core boxes fit nicely. So you get a nice base and then with the end racks at the back, we can load this wagon right up or whatever sleigh table and have a good load to go up to the shop. And the small stuff is getting shoved into the totes, so it's going pretty good. Now that we got it figured out, it can snow. And then with a little bit of snow, we just use the mini hoe to drag things out. Okay, we're quitting early because it's Sunday. And we got the 48 sedan delivery out, which was no problem to start in the snowbank and back it out. No problem. So back in the 1940s, if I was a big time cat train operator or owner, I'd be driving one of these things here, the sedan delivery to haul the groceries and supplies for the cat train crews. So basically I'm living in the 1950s. But oh well, but they didn't have the flag exercise back then. Well, it's the staff's birthday, so I better go pick up the birthday supper and call it a day. Talk to you guys later.